Andy, what were the unique challenges faced when designing the Foxhound? Well, the evolving threat in Iraq and then Afghanistan was increasing the size of the IEDs that the troops were seeing, which was overmatching their smaller, lightweight vehicles. The initial solution to that from the MOD was to buy what were the MRAP vehicles, things like the Mastiff, uh, big 28, 29 tonne vehicles. A key problem with these larger vehicles was their off-road capability, particularly in the rural environments. So we were set the challenge of could we have the protection of a vehicle like the Mastiff, but could we have the mobility of a small lightweight vehicle like the Land Rover? So that's where this requirement for the light protected patrol vehicle came from. So when we're pulling this team together, we put people from all around the business, from different areas, from the motorsport side, from the vehicle side, from the defence vehicle side, to see how we could apply all our skills to this very unique defence problem. Well, the power pack unit was influenced by a lot of our motorsport, uh, high performance vehicle technology and capability. The pod here is designed using composite materials, composites for the structure and also for ballistic reasons. Another unique area of this vehicle is it's what we call the skateboard, which is the lower part of the vehicle. It's an armoured structure where all the main drivetrain components live, but also the suspension system, and this is a four-wheel steering system. It's used to give us that class-leading mobility, so that ability to go into really tight areas, into rural environments around the villages. So why is the side sloping here underneath? As I said, it's a, it's a protected patrol vehicle, so it's protecting against both ballistic threats and also from blasts, from IED, uh, things buried in the road or in, in, beside the road. So this V-shaped hull, it's there to deflect the blast away. So rather than the energy going up into the vehicle and lifting the vehicle, it deflects away, which is the shaping of the vehicle. The driver can see all around him and use his normal controls that he's used to from his conventional vehicle. This is all armour protection, armoured glass. In a conventional vehicle, in a steel armoured hull, when a bullet or munition hits the side of the vehicle, you either get the bullet passes through and bringing fragments of metal of the armour with it, or sometimes it will just blister pieces of armour off and they fly around inside the vehicle. With a composite vehicle, either the composite will catch the bullet or if it does come through, it's only throwing bits of composite into the vehicle, which are a lot softer. Now, one of the features that this vehicle has, which you don't have in your normal car at home, is this thing here. It's a central tyre inflation system. It allows you, at a push of a button from the driver, particularly across sand and very loose terrain, he can reduce the tyre pressure, which increases his footprint to give him a better mobility. So one of the key unique features of this vehicle is that it's designed in a modular way. The power pack module, the pod module, and what we call the skateboard down here. This allows us to separate the vehicle into three main elements. In fact, this pod, the whole thing, will tip over to allow you to get into the mechanical systems uh, that are underneath. Andy, thank you so much for your time today to it's take us through the new Foxhound design. It's my absolute pleasure. This has been a great programme to be part of, both in its impact in protecting servicemen's lives, but also as I now go around the world looking at trade shows in the defence space, this vehicle is held up globally as a world leader and something other people are now trying to emulate. Thank you.